An Introduction to Encryption This video is an introduction to encryption from Bryn Mawr College. What is encryption? Encryption is a method of taking information, especially sensitive information, and scrambling it so that it cannot be read or viewed by anyone other than yourself or those individuals that you believe should have access to it. When information is scrambled, that is, it is encrypted, it can only be unscrambled or decrypted with a correct key. Once the key is used, the information becomes readable again. Some examples of information that should typically be encrypted include medical records, personally identifiable information such as documents with your social security number, financial information such as your tax returns, and sensitive research data. It is important to note that password protecting this type of sensitive information is not the same as encrypting it. You can think of it this way. Using password protection is like putting information in a locked safe. While it may be locked away, it would not take long for a determined thief to break in and steal your information. After all, once they have the code, or in this case the password, they have unlimited access. Encryption, on the other hand, is like putting information through a shredder before putting it into a locked safe. Even if someone manages to get into the safe, the information inside cannot be readily understood. What kinds of things can you encrypt? You can encrypt individual documents or folders when you save them to your computer. You can also encrypt entire disks and hard drives. These are all examples of what is known as data at rest. The information is living on a single computer and is being used by one individual. Information can also be categorized as data in motion, which means that it is being shared between users, networks, or computers. Examples of data in motion include emails and mobile messaging, uploads to a cloud server such as OneDrive, Dropbox, or Google Drive, and server communication where information is shared on a computer network. Regardless of whether you are handling data at rest or data in motion, you should protect all sensitive information with some form of encryption. Encryption cannot guarantee that your information will be 100% safe. For example, if a large government organization like the FBI or CIA wanted access, they could get it. However, it does provide security from day-to-day -day risks and should therefore be used as a safety measure. Most encrypted information is leaked through human error, and so by properly educating yourself on encryption, you are helping to ensure that your information is kept safe. The power is in your hands.